everybody, it's Delicia, and thanks for stopping by Cigar Vixen channel. Today, I'm going to be getting into this special little box that I picked up during Pro Cigar um, this past February. Hopefully you can see it. There's not too much of a glare. Let me get a little bit closer for you. So this beautiful artwork, it's like a, a tile, um, hand-painted. Um, this piece actually auctioned off the actual artwork. Um, the last night of Pro Cigar, but this was done um, to decorate the box. So this was given out as we arrived uh, for the first dinner in Santiago. It's featuring um, 11 different cigars. So a nice little combination, again, let me get a little bit closer. A nice little combination of, you know, a variety of cigars of people that are participating in Pro Cigar. And today I'm going to actually go with um, the Saga. This is the Short Tails. This is the first time that um, this particular cigar has debuted. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it cut up and lit. And the really cool thing for me is um, it actually comes with this little description of every cigar that's in here. So it tells you the name. It gives you a couple points. Like, for example, this one, it tells you the sh uh, Saga Short Tails. It's the high priming. It's a 58 by 4, and it says the first release of this full body beauty is a 4 by 58 short gordo. It showcases a Nicaraguan wrapper with a selection of high priming leaves from the Dominican Republic and the USA. This powerful cigar starts with a peppery kick to get your attention and develops onto an array of flavors that will keep you captive for way longer than it looks than looks would have you foresee. So a nice little description. Um, Again, Nicaraguan wrapper doesn't tell you specifics on the actual blend, but we know that it's featuring some Dominican and um, United States tobacco. So who knows, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and perhaps we'll see. But the looks of it are very nice. Um, it's a fun little, little short, um, name appropriate short tails here. And Saga cigars, if you're not familiar, they're made by a company called De Los Reyes cigars out of the Dominican Republic. Super cool family. They actually have over 150 years, you know, in cigars. So very knowledgeable. Um, again, super cool people, especially um, Nirka Reyes, who is um, an awesome sister of the leaf. She's beautiful. She smokes cigars. She is like one of the coolest people to sit down and talk with. And so if you have a chance to, um, you know, get down to the Dominican and especially during pro cigar, it's a great time to get to know everybody um, in the industry that's uh, based out of the Dominican Republic, of course. So all that stuff being said, let's go ahead and get down to it and get it cut up and lit up. This is an interesting um, little size, again. It's, you know, smaller, of course, but it seems that it's, by the description, that it's going to still pack a little bit of um, some flavor and strength. I actually didn't take enough off there. Let me get a little bit more off the cap. So it has a little bit of um, kind of a spiciness, um, spicy with a little bit of a raisin-y type of a flavor on that pre-lit drop. So let's go ahead and get it toasted up. I'm actually using my super cool uh, Pro Cigar lighter from this year. It's one of those staples that, you know, they always give out these bags that are pretty cool, but um, the lighters are always great because I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm terrible about remembering to pack lighters when I travel. Um, especially because I've had some confiscated from TSA, so I just, most of the time I just don't even bring one. Because I figure I'll get one or be able to use somebody's. So it's nice that they give out a very nice lighter. Um, it does the trick, it's refillable, it's great. And it was such a nice touch this year. Um, well, they've done it actually before with have, giving out the boxes at each dinner. It's just very nice. You don't have to like look around for cigars. They're given out to you. You can enjoy your meal each night with a you know beautiful piece of art and a variety of cigars. So it's a great touch that they added. Mm. So that hits you right away with this warm, um, toasty, kind of a toasted nut. 
is what I'm getting um, right away. There is a little bit of the pepper, but it's kind of on the finish, and to me it's not very strong, but maybe it's gonna work its way up here, we'll see. Yep, so you can get that black pepper on that finish, uh, kind of lingering for a moment, but a very nice toasty, um, almost a bread type of nuttiness to it. So very nice flavoring right off the bat. Beautiful aroma, a nice amount of smoke output as well. So as always, I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and check back in with you for the second third. So getting into the second third on the Saga short tails, um, the flavor <clears throat> is a combination of kind of a green chili pepper, a little bit of like a like a vinegar. is is It's really odd. It's kind of giving me that sensation of just reminding me like the chile verde kind of uh, it's gr like a green chili and the vinegar. There's a lot of pepper. In fact. Um, Honestly, at this moment, it's a little bit too much for my particular um, taste. I'm not huge on like the overpowering pepper, and this one is is really strong on that note. So um, again, some of you are big fans of that those real peppery types of cigars. So this is definitely um, proving to be one of those. Um, for me, it's it's dominating like the other types of um, flavors that are in here. I, I got a little bit of an anise and there was a hint of like something that is a little bit sweet but it's very 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 subtle. It's it's seriously it's just like a pepper bomb. So right now that's everything. It's lingering. It's It hits you right away when you take a puff and it, it, it stays in there. Especially on the retrohale you get a lot of that almost stinging kind of a pepper. So um, We'll see how it how it plays out. Again, this is in the middle of it, and it could just be that I hit like the the real pepper spot. But um, we'll see. I'm gonna keep smoking it down a little bit more and check back in with you one last time for the final third. So coming into the last part of this saga, um, short tails. Luckily, that pepper um, it kind of toned down now towards this last little bit. It did, it's still present, I mean you can definitely taste it, but I'm getting little hints of cedar and a little bit of um, <clears throat> kind of like that nuttiness that was there in the very beginning, that toasted nut. So you're getting some little hints of that, you know, towards the end. And surprisingly, I mean, I'm, I'm down to the last little bit here and it's still burning cool. It's not getting too overheated. Um, this size has lasted, it's taken me about 40 minutes or so to get through it. But um, I did have to touch it up this last little bit to kind of, it, it seemed like it needed just a little help to continue to stay lit there. But other than that, the construction has been great. Um, haven't had any issues with the burn. Um, so again, you know, that's the beauty of the cigars and the, the reviews, in fact. They're very subjective to taste, so it just depends on what your palate likes. Um, again, I mentioned on the second part that I'm not a huge fan of too much pepper, and to me, Personally, this one had a little bit more pepper than I look for. However, um, I know that there's a lot of you out there that do like the pepper, and maybe you're a fan of that, um, you know, the um, little bit more pepper than, than slight hints of it. So it just depends on what you like. I always encourage you guys to try it for yourself. So if you have smoked this one, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't, pick one up and try it out and let me know what you thought. But um, either way, I always thank you for watching and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.